and welcome to my channel. In this video I will be showing how to create .NET Core microservices that communicate with RabbitMQ and I will be using Mass Transit library. So I will create two applications. One is Web API that will publish messages to the Rabbit and one is a service background service basically that will be will have the con consumer that will consume these messages so let's get started first we'll do the way API so just created from template I'm on Mac and I created from template web API and just modified it but the all folders basically here the standard except i created a couple new classes i need so probably make it bigger if i can i think when i start typing code I'm, i'll make bigger but uh, for now Let's look at dependencies. So we will need to have to look at packages, mass transit extensions, dependency injector, injection, sorry, and mass transit rabbit in queue. So that that's it for dependencies. Then we'll have a, a standard program here. We can be gone with the main method and uh, creating host builder running and everything standard and it uses startup class and it's where we'll be doing our RabbitMQ configurations. So let's look here. Okay, it's like standard. I'll go, I won't go over like all everything, but in configure services it's where we have to do some configurations so the first thing we need to add mass transit to the service collection it's just services that add mass transit after that we have register and configure the bus so it will be singleton it will be selecting rabbit and cure as a transport for the service bus and doing some rabbit and cube bus factor configurations and we here are only doing one thing we just specify the host local host in in our case uh, if it's uh, not local host will be different you need to pass here host and uh, the next is virtual host default and I'm not doing here any configurations for the host but just uh, for simplicity after that uh, we need to register ibus so that we can use it as dependency in the constructor for controllers so it's also singleton so services is singleton of type ibus and configure in here and do the same for register i publishing point we will be publishing so with publishing we will we just publish to the bus and you need to have a consumer on the other side which is subscribed for this type of messages so it's why we don't need to specify here any queues or anything because we will be publishing to the bus so we configure register a publishing point and then we need to register hosted service using the interface type i hosted service to start stop the bus with the application and 
our type is bus service. It's where we will start and stop bus. So bus service, it's a new class. So, and just st standard configure method implementations for HTTP request pipeline. Won't go over this, just it was in template. So let's look at uh, bus service class. So bus service uh, implements a hosted uh, service interface and we inject a bus a bus control here and to need to a hosted service has two two methods we have to implement start a sync and stop a sync and on start we just start in the bus and on stop we stop the bus so, and then I created the book class, which is just a message contract for something we will be publishing. So it's book with date, page, just count and title. For simplicity, I just put date as a string. It should, it should be basically, it should be different type, but to avoid this JSON serialization, this relation, serialization issue with Rabbit, I'm just for simplicity. And um, then we have controller, API controller with just one method, post method. So in controller, we need to use IBAS. In the constructor and on the post method we'll accept in the request book object and on the bus call publish and pass the book object there so and that's it for API can run it but uh, we need to implement co a consumer because right now there is no consumer to consume these messages so let's then look at the service application so this I uh, created from worker service template and for dependencies um, need to add the same mass transit dependencies for mass transit extensions dependency injection in mass transit rabbit and queue and here also need have the same class for the book and it's important to have the same namespace here as in api in order to consume this message so ideally it will go somewhere probably in some shared packages or something because namespace is different than the name solution but this is only how it will work so and created book consumer it's just simple consumer class it implements i consume of type book and there are one consume message uh, method that we will just consume content context and just put it in variable some string with title pages count and date and the return task com task completed task but not doing anything with this value 
so you'll have your breakpoint to see that you receive this and in the program it's where uh, configuration happens for mass transit and bus so here it's the same extender host builder configure services we call here and so here what I'm doing so we need to add mass transit to the service collection and configure service collections so here are we services add mass transit and then we do configurations here so for the configurations we need to add bus to the collection and here are we not configuring directly here but we pass and configure bus which we have this method there this configuration uh, separately and then we need to add consumer to the to the collection and our consumer book consumer that i showed you earlier and then we need to add a hosted service registration of type bus service and the bus service is right here it's similar it is was in api uh, but i'm in, i'm using here background services instead since it's running in background and i'm also in the constructor injecting bus control my bus control and have the same method for start when the service is ready to start we will start bus and when service is ready to stop we stop in bus and we have another execute async method uh, for uh, when this uh, hosted service is uh, starting so and let's go to back to program and look for configure bus so we configure in bus passing a service provider so the same here using rabbit timq the transport for the service bus and we config configuring rabbit timq bus factory so for the host the same for the host it was an api just local host uh, default virtual post uh, virtual host sorry uh, no configurations we're doing here for simplicity and then since we need to specify the receive endpoint for our consumer it's basically the queue name also so we need to configure here receive endpoint so for the queue name we pass web service endpoint and then we configure in a receive endpoint and just set up simple for example prefetch count like 16 is how how many messages at the time are consumed and message retire policy for some like intervals to retries in 100 uh, i believe it's probably milliseconds um, and then we register consumer consumer book consumer on the endpoint and that basically it uh, let's have here um, sorry I didn't make it bigger so in consumer we have a breakpoint here 
start. Let's look. Small cues, no cues here. Start. Our service. Let's go to queues. So we have queue. Have consumer here. Okay. And let's start our API. Starts here as a default pool when configured uh, local host 5.0.1. So, and in Postman, I'll do this post request. So, you just post to HTTPS local host 5.0.1 API book post. So, I have body here for the book. For some reason. My thing, but so I created here a book or a book uh, object basically, or request for the book object. So, and I when I send it, what's supposed to happen? I send it, I on the bus, I publish to the bus, and all consumers who subscribe to this type of messages supposed to receive it. So Send. and I'm here in my book consumer and at the breakpoint and have here content uh, bit too small but I'll stop and this value I have this Receive book, new book with zero pages written on. Mm, something is pages one. Pages count is supposed to say here, but it doesn't matter. But the message was consumed and just continue and go back. So, message was consumed. And the consumer is still like listening here. And if we want, always need to make sure, like here in bus service, we have the stop bus here implemented. It's important to remember do this that uh, the bus is uh, stopped. And what, what we can check if we stop our application this is service application this consumer and go back and we see here zero consumers so and the bus was stopped and this is just the basic um, starting point for creating microservices with RabbitMQ and .NET Core and thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!